Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, good morning to you and welcome to a lovely day here in Frankfurt where we're driving in the 911 GT3 to go over to Classic Stad. Now Classic Stad, I've shown you it before, it's where Lamborghini Frankfurt, McLaren Frankfurt are, so the showrooms, the workshops, also you've got a number of shops and car collections that are kept there as well, cars stored in boxes. But the reason I'm going over today is because I have been led to believe that there is not one Bugatti Chiron, but two Chirons and a Veyron to head over to have a look at as well as both McLaren and Lamborghini dealerships holding an event today. They're from Door Group here in Frankfurt and they're holding an event, a drive, so there should be plenty of cars about. I think this, this car, it's not really a Lamborghini or a McLaren though, so it's going to be blending in in the Bugatti corner maybe today. But let's get there and see what cars there are to check out at Classic Stad. Every year there's an opening weekend here at Classic Stad and they could not have asked for better weather. This is literally perfect to get the ball rolling for the season. So I am looking forward to seeing what cars we have in here in a moment. This right here is literally the entrance to Classic Stad. I think there might be a fair few people around. We will see in a second. Yep, car spotted already. So let us turn in right now and see what we can find. There are lots of very, very nice cars inside here. Oh, red G-Wagon there looks really cool. So let me drive through. This is where my McLaren has been for a number of services and small things, but we will weasel through here, past the cars that are out and see what else is about. Yep, that's a solid lineup and a half right there. If you have a look in front of us, we have 650S, 720S, a few photographers taking pics of all the cars. There are tons of McLarens and Lambos lined up on either side of the road. So oh, there's even an NSX inside the box just over there, which is cool as well. So we will head round. Gosh, there are loads of McLarens here. Aventador S. This is crazy. But where are the Bugattis? Right, so lift system up. This is probably my least practical car, but it does have a lift system. It's very, very firm, that's for sure. I want to come around the back. It's completely Skittles as well, all the different colours here. And these guys are just standing in the middle of the road. We can squeeze past them. Come round towards the back where... Somewhere up here, more Lambos, obviously, more Lambos. I can see the Bugattis, I can see the Bugattis. Right, let's just come straight up here. On our right hand side is a lineup that features not one, but two Chirons and the Veyron at the end of it. So just have a little look at those as we crawl past. We'll come back and have a proper look in a second. Two one and a half thousand horsepower Chirons here. Absolutely crazy. Right, let's go around to the other side and park up. Alrighty, straight over to this little trio then. The launch spec of this Chiron with the dark blue and the bright blue on the front sections. Obviously quad turbo W16, eight litre, one and a half thousand horsepower just sitting in the shade here. Then the full blue of this car, especially with the wheels and the brake calipers and everything. Specification is absolutely crazy. Just two Chirons here in Frankfurt. Bugatti part of the door group as well here. That is well, quite something, hey? And then this one decked out in a, uh, in a livery from a rally on the Veyron. Three Bugattis in a lineup in Frankfurt. That's crazy. And look what we have here. I know it's under a cover, which doesn't entirely count, but this is a Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, one of only 20. The spec is awesome. We can't see it right now, other than the red accents around the tires you have down there, but it's a red car with some visible carbon as well. This is the Lamborghini workshop where, of course, cars are in, but 20 in the world. I don't know if it's the only one here in Germany, but it's right there under a cover. Sadly, that's all we're gonna see of it right now, though. I had mentioned the NSX inside the box. There are actually two. There is an older generation NSX on that side, and there is the new NSX inside the box on this side. Of course, we are not here to see those. We are here to see this fantastic lineup of complete Skittles. Quick shout out to the number plate, very similar to my number plate, TB. Of course, my initials on a bright green car. That's got the MSO front end as well on that 12C. 720S, red and chrome, or chrome red and silver chrome 650S Spider. The McLaren lineup continues with the Sports Series, the 570 GTs, just absolutely everything. Azores, the orange paintwork here glistening in the sun. There is an Aventador Roadster at the end, a couple of other cars up here as well. Is that a white Aventador SV? I think it is lurking just around the corner of this van. Yep, white SV. The red accents on that are quite nice as well, the way that's been done. 
Looks good, looks very good. What a stunning lineup. It's a cool place this as well, classic stud. So if we continue this way, back towards the Lamborghinis as well, past countless millions of McLarens and Lambos here towards this end. We've actually got new Performante next to old Performante. Interesting comparison right there. Hurricane Spider, Aventador S, that might be the one I drove, but could be, could be the one. 675LT. But for the previous generation, so for the Gallardo, they actually made the Superleggera and the Coupe and the Performante and the Spider. Performante was the name they chose for both the Coupe and the Spider of the Hurricane though, hence that, but not that many of the earlier Performantes around still. Back over to this end, there is another Aventador S in the identical specification. It's actually got a very similar number plate on it as well, just with a different start bit. Then we have a Diablo VT, Hurricane Spider, and then the Bugattis that are just starting actually to poke out into the sunshine, where the colours will look immense. The bright blues looking very, very good. Three blue Bugattis in a lineup together. An R8 is gate crashing as well. That's definitely not so standard, very noisy. It's time for the drive to start. So the 570S Spider leading the way as they head out onto the road. Sounds pretty good. So this is going to be a massive lineup of McLarens and Lamborghinis heading on out to get this journey started. <laughs> That's much noisier than any of the cars. Spider, Gallardo Spider, another Gallardo Spider. Yes, too many Gallardos around anymore, actually. <laughs> Sounds good. Diablo, very bright green 570S. Then we have the Chicane Grey 675LT, the launch configuration for the coupe. The fizzes of the McLaren engines. 570 GT, 570S, nice dark blue, oh yellow Performante, sounds so good, ah there goes the SV, V12, Ventador Roadster, Hurricane Spider, the sounds are getting good, 570S, the Performante, Somebody going the other way. Oh. That sounded horrible. 570S. And a 12C spider. Ah, there is a super share right here as well. That is nearly it. Oh no, we've got a few more poking through. Volcano Orange 12C, always a very nice colour. 12Cs do look good, they're going to age very, very well. And then we've got the aero parts on that Hurricane Spider, the new Lamborghini Performance aero parts, so the new wing at the back, 720S. And I think that might just be about it, apart from the ice cream van, to wrap things up. No, I don't think he's joining the convoy. I'm sure that some of you will be wondering why I didn't join that, but that R8 made a pretty good sound right there. You can hear it again. Growly, growly. No, I was going to say that I'm sure some of you will be wondering why I didn't join the event. I thought about it, but it would be a bit of a gate crash to tag along to the McLaren and Lamborghini event in my Porsche. That sounded very good. Now, obviously, I could have prepared more in advance and brought the McLaren here, but this is spontaneous. I didn't really know what was happening today, so that's kind of the way it goes. Anyway, it was awesome to see and hear all the cars driving off. I love just watching a line of cars and hearing all of the different engines and things as they go. So I'm going to head this away and have a last little look around and see what is going on. Chiron on the move sounds thunderous. So I literally just popped the GT3 right behind to try and get a photograph. And then that moment, the Chiron started moving. Looks so cool though. Look what covers have just come off the Centenario. Told you it was red. Look at that. 
going into the workshop with two of the Bugattis there. Gosh, it's very busy all of a sudden. Unsurprisingly, look at this little lineup that's going to form inside here. Wow. So, those are very rare. Just look at all of those cuts and aero and things going on at the front of that car. Absurd. Just before the Chiron departs, I guess it's going to start up. Yep, into life. I was going to say that these two cars are both technically from the same manufacturer. They're both the Volkswagen group, although Porsche, Bugatti, a lot of differences between them. Mid-engine Chiron, all-wheel drive, off it goes. And obviously rear engine, rear wheel drive, GT3. This thing's 500 horsepower, and that Chiron was one and a half thousand. Literally triple the power of an already very fast car, which is quite a crazy thing when you start to think about it. Anyway, I've now left my GT3 on its own, not parked very neatly, so I better sort that out. Off goes the event to S. Rolls, another Lambo, that is a twin turbo Superleggera just there. Sounds incredibly loud, but there is quite a lot going on. There's actually a little Porsche event it seems going on. So my GT3 is now in a lineup of other Porsches yeah. um, as we come a little bit further along here, including some very nice looking older cars just here. The blue one in particular. Very, very nice. Cool little things. Um, but I think we might head off to go and find a spot to take some pictures of the GT3. What a lovely afternoon this is turning out to be. We've got the GT3 right here on a bridge taking some pictures in very industrial Frankfurt. I've not been to this area at all, but it definitely makes for some good photo locations. So we've been moving it from spot to spot, both sides here uh, of the water. We did some shots down there as well. All very, very nice, especially out in the sunshine. It's gone from like being nearly freezing in the video I shot with the AMG GTR at the Nürburgring to now being absolutely lovely here in Frankfurt. So what an awesome afternoon. Still spontaneous, one of those random days, just supercar stuff happening everywhere, which is always the best because you didn't wake up expecting it. And now we're playing around with the GT3, could be worse. Well, I'm gonna wrap up today's video there. It's been a bit of a spontaneous and random adventure, like I said, but seeing the two Chirons, the GT3 trying to blend in, what a lineup of supercars it was at Classic Start. And then we've just taken a few awesome pics with a couple of photographers here in Frankfurt of the GT3. So stay tuned to the social media pages to catch some of those in due course. Anyway, the next trip for this car is gonna be to the Nürburgring Nordschleifer. I'm looking forward to doing a few more laps with it when it finally reaches that break-in point and it's fully run in and ready to be revved to 9,000 RPM. Anyway, let's wrap this one up there. Thank you very much as always for watching, guys. I appreciate all your support, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Cheers.